it's pretty easy to be proud of something that every day in the morning when you wake up, you know, you're excited to go to work. You're proud to put on the, you know, the shirt. I've had a lot of different roles because if someone asks me to do something, I try to do it the best I can. And so I think because of that and that kind of those building blocks, you know, this place has become not just where I work, you know, it's kind of my second home in San Antonio. It's my second family in San Antonio. And when something like that means that much to me, you know, I'm going to put everything I can into it to make it better, you know, and improve it in any way I can. I get the call to come in the preseason with, with coach and uh, he says, uh, you have two days to prove yourself. <laughs> so I was like, all right, no problem. I've done this before. Just come out and play and express myself and, and talk and be a part of the session as much as I could. And, you know, it, it worked out for me. You know, he made a great first impression. I just remember Ryan coming in um, and having uh, a confidence and a reassurance uh, that, you know, he, he was certainly going to help this club and this organization. Took two days. He said, OK, come another couple of days. We want you to play in the preseason game. Uh, game was over and he said that they'd like me to stay around. So from that day forward, I've been San Antonio FC through and through. Since day one, this it's been uh, kind of that little bit of a rise for me in as far as what my roles have been, how much involved I've been. He's been a player, he's been a captain, he's been an analyst, he's been a coach um, with the U12s, 13s, 14s, 15s, ETP. Uh, he's been an assistant coach with the first team, he's sat on the bench first team games, he's in the booth doing analysis for the first team. So he does, he wears many hats. You don't put yourself in a player's shoes anymore, you have to put yourself in the coach's shoes. And you know, that transition hasn't been too hard because I've been with the club now for three years and this is the fourth and I know what the club expects. I know what our values are and our, you know, what we're trying to accomplish. And you know, you have to teach them the game and use their strengths and show them what you see on the field to try to make them improve and you know, develop as players and be successful. The final week of the 2017 USL campaign begins tonight here at Toyota Field. San Antonio FC has already punched their ticket to the USL Cup Tournament, but they're looking for more tonight, an opportunity to clinch a home field playoff match with a win. Gordon into the box, clearance, Reed settles, gives it a go, and comes cleanly here ever Guzman, Hamilton down, Guzman still with it, slides it, it's in! Ryan Rochandel has given San Antonio FC the lead in the second half. And he just may have delivered San Antonio FC's biggest goal in their club history. Probably the best memory. I will, I will be biased, probably a little biased towards it. I can still look over there at that at, right there and I can still see all the kids rushing down the stands and, you know, coming to dogpile on me. And yeah, I think every time I walk in this building, I think I think about that moment. You know, it, it was a Important goal. Obviously, you guys, are home, our first home playoff game. And um, the fact that those kids are there and um, I spend so much time with them. They're like, you know, they're, they're like my little brothers more than anything. You know, I want, I want to be some sort of inspiration for them if I can. And, you know, hopefully that was a moment that they won't forget because I know I won't. You know, the, you know it, it is one of those things that this is a pro academy and that is the goal. But at the same time, they are kids. And I've always told them, no matter what, you have to enjoy playing the game or you're never gonna get to where you wanna get to. You know, yes, I've taken it very seriously my whole life. I've been very, very disciplined in what I've done. You know, from training every single day to you know, living a lifestyle as a pro. But at the same time, I just love to play it. You know, and if I, if I can show you that passion for how much I love to play it, hopefully that inspires you that to have that same amount of passion, if not more. They're super good kids. They're amazing young boys that are super respectful. Like I said, from day one to now, those that first batch of boys, they have improved so much and they're still asking questions. And that's what they should be doing and, and trying to discover those answers on themselves. And if we can help push them in that direction and guide them, then you know that's what we're here for. We've been going at this for three plus years now and it's not something that's not a chore to come out here. It's something that I just love doing and I have a lot of passion for it and a lot of pride you know, that goes into representing this club in the city. You know, the city has brought me in and welcomed me in. The club has welcomed me in. You know, it's my family now.
And I, like I told you, I, I will do everything in my power to protect that family and help that family grow and be successful.